hope you're having a great day. Today, I want to chat about the five habits that have changed my life. It was tough to only pick five, as there have been so many over the years that I've tried and tested. So if you like this video, let me know and I can share more in a following video. So let's get straight into it. The first habit that's changed my life for the better is listening to podcasts. I never really thought podcasts were for me. I thought they were just something that my dad listened to. But now I actually really love them and look forward to listening to them. When I'm cleaning, driving, or even sometimes at the gym, they make me feel like I'm being much more productive and achieving two things at once. In every podcast, I learn so much and actually feel my most creative when listening to them. And I've found that they've broadened my horizon on so many different topics and so many different fields. My favorite podcast is The Tim Ferriss Show, where Tim interviews world-class performers in all fields, ranging from CEOs to actors. But there are so many different podcasts to cater for so many different areas of interest, so I really encourage you to hop onto iTunes or YouTube and find something that interests you. All right, so the second habit that's changed my life for the better is scheduling in an everything and anything day. I actually learned this habit from one of Tim's podcasts. So it was where I schedule in one day per week for all the miscellaneous things that I need to do. For me, it's a Tuesday. So I schedule in all my meetings, appointments, catching up with friends, different kinds of work, and so on. This has allowed me to be much more focused on the tasks rather than bouncing between appointments, meetings, and other interruptions every day of the week. Before I implemented this practice, I felt like my weeks were much more cluttered and I had much less meaningful time. I was always distracted and felt like I was being pulled in so many different directions. Okay, so the third habit is saying no to things that I don't want to do. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but it's not the easiest thing to do. It took me so long to realize that I need to put myself before others. It's like putting my happiness before others. In order to help people in the best way that I can, I need to make sure that I am at my happiest to do so. This way, I can help people in a much fuller and more meaningful capacity. But I found that I was quite often stretching myself too thin and juggling too many things. I finally realized that my priorities matter as well, which meant that I needed to start saying no to the things that weren't as fulfilling or that didn't serve me. But I'm a people pleaser. When someone asks me to do something, I generally tend to say yes, even if I don't want to or don't have the time for it. And the reason that I say yes to all these things is because I just want to help people in any way that I can. By saying no, I can make room for the people and projects that I really believe in and put much more of my time and energy into it. This habit in particular has had a profound impact on my life. And I find that my days are a lot more enjoyable because I'm spending them doing the projects that I'm passionate about with the people that I love. So the fourth habit that's changed my life is drinking water first thing in the morning. This has been an absolute game changer for me. I am notoriously terrible at drinking enough water. When I was younger, I would hardly drink any water. And even when I was swimming competitively and training twice a day, I wouldn't even be thirsty. So what I love about this habit is that by drinking first thing in the morning, it seems to kickstart my body and I find myself thirsty and wanting water throughout the day. It's improved my metabolism, skin, digestion, and overall health. All right, so the fifth and final habit that's changed my life is bringing food slash a lunchbox whenever I leave the house. I think this is such a useful habit to get into and it's honestly saved me so many times. I found that when I was at school, and in particular at uni, there were so many unhealthy options around me that were quick and easy, which meant that if I didn't bring my own food, I was really likely to go down that path. Bringing a lunchbox hasn't only helped me save a lot of money, but it's also ensured that I eat healthily. So a typical lunchbox for me would look something like this. An apple, leftovers, or a salad with some sort of protein like canned salmon, and then some nuts. And then after this, if I wanted chocolate or something else, I could always just go and get it. But generally, this would sustain me for the day. I definitely still go out to eat, and some days I would go out to lunch with my friends at uni. But whenever I go to a meeting, or to run an errand, or shopping, whatever it is, I always make sure I bring a snack with me. This tends to be either an apple, nuts, or both. This habit has stopped me being hungry, or being forced to purchase something unhealthy. So those are the five habits of many that have changed my life for the better. 
If you'd like to hear more, let me know and I can definitely do another video. They may seem small, but they've given me such huge returns and I'm so happy that I get to share them with you. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.